Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today I'm going to show you a Dollar Tree DIY using this perpetual calendar that I got here. So I'm just going to open this up and I am going to take these pieces out, these right here, because we're going to save those. We don't want to get any coloring on those. But on this one, I'm going to take and get some ink. And I use, of course, my Arteza ink. But then I'm also going to use a vent cover. And I just got these. This one I think I got off of Amazon. Um, but you can get them at um, Walmart or uh, like a Home Depot or something like that. But I like these. They have the white and then the other side is black and they're vent covers so you can put them over your vents so the air doesn't come out but I use these to hold my dies for stamping and I had this and I'm like I think I could do something so I'm gonna first um, paint I'm lying I'm going to first grab a pen and I'm going to grab the vent cover and I'm going to set this right up against the edge here and the edge here of the vent cover. And then I'm going to take a pen and just go around before the ink goes on there. Okay. So now I have this portion and I'm going to go ahead and cut this all out. But before I do that, I'm going to take some ink. There we go. It's actually acrylic paint, not ink. And I'm going to take out some white and some gray because we want it to look a little farmhouse-ish. But you can do whatever color you want. So I'm going to paint this bottom portion here with the white. And this one is a pearl, a pearl white. So you move this down where you can see what's going on. So I'm just gonna put that right on here. And I don't need to do the bottom. But I'm gonna take just a sponge here and I'm gonna sponge this on. And I'm going to get it all in those cracks and all around the side here. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And you could do it on the inside if you'd like to. But I'm just going to do this here. And then I'm going to finish this off. In fact, I think I might do the inside just because we want it to all look one color. So I'm going to finish this off, including the inside, and then we'll let it dry and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got this all done and it's all not quite dry, but um, I also did around the edges here. And then I'm just going to take and put the white away and I'm just going to get out a little bit of the gray and this one also has um, some pearl to it but I'm not going to put a lot I'm just going to kind of dab it and then I'm just going to kind of just put it on here for the the mat there and I'm just going to scrape it across Kind of going to give it that farmhouse-y look, if you could see that. And then the same here, going up and down, grabbing some more off of the side. And it's just going to give it a little bit of that farmhouse-y look. 
And then I'm going to give a little bit in here as well. Put a little bit more. Just on the... So you see that little look there? Okay. So that part's done. And then I'm going to take and cut this out. So we're going to, well, I'm just going to cut right across. And I'll cut this out and we'll be right back. Okay, I've cut it out and I was going to use the white, but it's two different colors. So I want it to match up a little bit. So I'm going to take, again, the white here, and I'm actually going to do it on the black side here. Just put a little bit there, and we're going to pearlize this one up a little bit. So again, just pushing it down and getting that color all over. And it does not have to be perfect. And you could use the white if you wanted to, but there's just no reason um well, I don't know. I just think it would give it a, a little bit different look. And it is messy, <laughs> you'll see. And you can see my nails through there, so I'm gonna go back over. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, adding a little bit of that gray on here. So I'm gonna go back, finish this up, add the gray, let it dry and then I'll be back. Okay, that's all done. I'm gonna go back with the gray again. And again, we're gonna do the same thing, just putting a little bit on the edges here. And then adding that in those same line directions. So that it matches nicely. Okay, so that's all done. We are going to move that off to the side. We're going to take this and I'm going to just use um, the tacky glue. You could use whatever side, whatever you'd like. You could use double sided tape if you'd like. But I'm just going to use the Elaine's and we're going to put this nice on there if that glue will come out. There we go. So I'm going to put a nice thick amount on here. And then I'm going to take this side that's not um, all painted and I'm going to move that glue around the whole piece especially out on the edges and on the inside edge so just moving that and then this glue can just be all over but especially those outside edges Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to put that right on here. Now remember this is magnetic. So 
So now we have this portion all done, all colored. You can color that however you'd like. You can put some um, rope around the edging, whatever you want. This is yours. So let's say we're just going to do... Uh, January, what's today? January 16th. There's no 16. There's January 16th. And then we find January in here. We don't need that one or that one. But we need that one. And now you've got this. You guys, now all you need to do is take something that has a magnet and you can decorate every single month. You could also, if you have a little picture, let's um, move this to, I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna move this to February 14th. And watch this. I'm gonna get just this little heart here and tack that on and you've got your little heart there or you can just put a magnet on the back of this using just the extra pieces check this out. I'm going to put a little bit of self-adhesive just real quick to do this. Some double tag, double stick on the back of a magnet. Put that on here and look at this. It's stuck on there. Is that cool? You could turn anything. So we've got that. And then for Christmas, you could do these. Again, just a little bit of magnet. And it's for time's sake, double stick tape. And look at that. It's going to stick however you'd like. You can even make a little picture. You can put however you'd like. That's so cool. You could even take a picture of somebody and stick it on there. I don't have any pictures of anybody near me. But if I did, it could go right in there. How cute is that? If you like this, please give me a big thumbs up. Share these with your friends, you guys. This is how I am um, doing my best to stay active on my social media channels. And I would love to have just this blow up. So make sure you give this a big like. And then make sure you subscribe right here. All right, beauties. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.